Hello and welcome back to the Immortal News family. In today's heartfelt video, we bring to you the latest updates on the passing of some truly remarkable individuals within the last 24 hours. We also have a sad update about renowned actress and model Emily Willis. As a part of the Immortal News family, we are committed to honoring and remembering those who have made a lasting impact in our lives and the world. If this video touches your heart, or if the stories of these extraordinary people have moved you, please show your respect and remembrance by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you for joining us in this moment of reflection and tribute. Number 14. Rayara Morris, a beloved figure in the fitness and bodybuilding community, tragically passed away at the age of 34. Her tragic death, discovered at her home in Aguas Claras, Brazil, after being unreachable for days, has stunned admirers and friends. Her reputation extends far beyond her outstanding physical feats, as she is well known for her passion for fitness and inspiring journey from women's football player to powerlifter and digital artist. With a large social media following, she shared her exercise routines and lifestyle with approximately 650,000 TikTok and Instagram followers, inspiring many people with her dedication to health and strength. Her move from studying physical education and law to becoming a well-known personality in the digital fitness industry demonstrated her diversified skills and constant determination. As tributes stream in, the effect of her life becomes clear. Fans and those who knew her personally remember her not only for her physical abilities, but also for her kindness, generosity, and positive influence in their lives. The investigation into her untimely death continues, with many people searching for answers and closure. Her departure is a great loss for the fitness community and everyone who loved her enthusiasm and ambition. As we await any information, her memory will definitely continue to inspire and impact. Tributes to Rayara Moraes. Number 13. Louis Gossett Jr., a groundbreaking actor whose talent and presence broke barriers and left a lasting imprint on Hollywood, passed away at the age of 87 on March 29. From his roots in Coney Island, Brooklyn, to the pinnacle of cinematic success, Gossett's journey was one of perseverance, resilience, and groundbreaking achievements. He made his stage debut at a tender age, setting the stage for a career that would span decades and earn him critical acclaim and a place in the hearts of audiences worldwide. Gossett's remarkable range allowed him to excel in a variety of roles, but it was his portrayal of Gunnery Sergeant Emil Foley in An Officer and a Gentleman that won him an Academy Award, making him the first black actor to win in the Best Supporting Actor category. This historic win was more than a personal triumph. It was a milestone in the journey toward diversity and inclusion in the entertainment industry. Beyond the silver screen, Gossett was a man of profound integrity and humanity. He used his platform to advocate for social justice, embodying the change he wished to see in the world. His work extended off-camera through his dedication to educating and supporting young talent, ensuring that his legacy would influence future generations. Louis Gossett Jr.'s passing is a profound loss to the world of entertainment and to all who were inspired by his life and work. His legacy, however, will endure, etched in the memorable characters he brought to life and the barriers he broke down. Tributes to Louis Gossett Jr. Number 12. Reed Rollman, a beacon of talent and spirit in the baseball community, tragically passed away at the tender age of 29. Known for his remarkable tenure as an outfielder for the Clemson Tigers, where he was honored as an All-American twice, Rollman's legacy is one of exceptional dedication and skill on the field. He left a memorable mark on Clemson's baseball history. His prowess led him to be selected by the Kansas City Royals in the 35th round of the MLB Draft in 2017 further extending his influence in baseball through his commitment in the minor leagues. Rollman's untimely demise in a car crash in Hobe Sound, Florida, has left a void in the hearts of many, extending beyond the bounds of the baseball diamond to touch all those who knew him personally. Described by his former coach Jack Leggett 
As not only an exceptional player but an even greater person, Rollman's character shone brightly through his ever-present smile, team spirit, and respectful nature. As one of only two Clemson freshmen in history to earn All-America honors and a pivotal figure in leading the Tigers to the ACC championship, his legacy will be remembered not only for his athletic achievements but for the joy and respect he brought to the game. His departure is a profound loss to the Clemson baseball family and all who had the privilege of knowing him. The world indeed will miss Reed Rollman. Tributes to Reed Rollman. Number 11. Sophia Amarim, a 22-year-old influencer beloved by many for her beauty content and vibrant presence on social media, tragically passed away on March 27, 2024. Her sudden departure seven months into her pregnancy was caused by the severe and brutal consequences of dengue fever, which resulted in multiple organ failure despite doctors' valiant efforts to rescue both her and her unborn child. The situation deteriorated swiftly after Sophia, known for her upbeat personality and zest for life, complained of shortness of breath, which was initially dismissed as anxiety, but was later discovered as the key manifestation of her illness. Her transformation from a female football player to a digital creator fascinated many. She expertly combined her enthusiasm for fitness with her academic studies in physical education and law, eventually carving out a position for herself as a trustworthy influencer. With a large following, her material varied from beauty suggestions to the joys and tribulations of her pregnancy, which resonated well with her audience, who loved her candor and resilience. Her community and admirers are in mourning, unable to fathom the abrupt end of such a lively life. Tributes have flooded in, reflecting her significant influence on people around her, friends, followers, and those who knew her personally remember her not only for her public presence, but also for her warmth, kindness, and the lasting impression she made on many people's hearts. Her passing serves as a sharp reminder of the fragility of life and the unpredictable nature of health crises such as dengue fever, a mosquito-borne disease that continues to kill people around the world. Her experience has sparked discussions about the significance of health knowledge and the need for community support during times of crisis. As we reflect on Sophia Amorim's legacy, we recall a life full of hope, passion, and love. Tributes to Sophia Amorim. Number 10. Christian Rodska, a stalwart of British television, radio, and audiobook narration, passed away on the 21st of March at the age of 78, leaving behind a legacy enriched with diverse characters and compelling narratives. Born in Color Coats, Northumberland, Rodska's career spanned several decades, during which he became a familiar face and voice to many, most notably through his role as Ron Stryker in the beloved series Follyfoot. His versatility as an actor was evident in his portrayals ranging from Eska in The Eagle of the Ninth to his repeated nuanced performances as Winston Churchill, which showcased not only his remarkable acting prowess but also his ability to bring historical figures to life with authenticity and depth. Rodska's voice brought to life a myriad of characters in radio plays and audiobooks, including narrating Sir Winston Churchill's The Second World War, a testament to his skill and presence as a narrator. His contribution to the arts extended to his work on Ice Road Truckers and Megastructures, bringing drama and excitement to documentary narration. Beyond the screen and airwaves, Rodska's personal story was equally fascinating, from his Danish sailor father to his own diverse family life. His passing marks the end of an era for those who grew up watching his performances and listening to his distinctive voice. Christian Rodska's enduring impact on the world of entertainment and his ability to touch the lives of audiences across generations are the hallmarks of his memorable career. Tributes to Christian Rodska. Number 9. Peter Shapiro, 
a transformative figure in New Jersey politics, passed away at the age of 71. The cause of his passing was respiratory failure, which he had been suffering from for a long time owing to lung disease. At the age of 23, he became the youngest person ever elected to the New Jersey General Assembly, leaving a lasting impression on the state's political scene. As the first Essex County executive, he continued his devotion to public service by enacting changes that increased local government efficiency and responsiveness. Throughout his term, he worked relentlessly to reduce taxes, decentralize services, and reform social programs, establishing a new benchmark for government efficiency in Essex County. His political career also featured a daring attempt for governor in 1985, which was eventually unsuccessful. Despite this defeat, his efforts in Essex County demonstrated his belief in the power of government to effect positive change. After leaving public office, he used his knowledge of government and economics to establish Swap Financial Group to advise on regulatory change and financial recovery. His work had an impact not just on the political scene in New Jersey, but also on the larger financial industry. Aside from his professional accomplishments, he was known for his personal kindness, intelligence, and commitment to the community. His legacy lives on via the people he influenced, the reforms he implemented, and the inspiration he provided to others. As we reflect on his efforts, we pay respect to Peter Shapiro, a man who exemplified the best of public service and dedication to constructive change. Tributes to Peter Shapiro. Number 8. Tom Henry, who served as the 35th mayor of Fort Wayne, Indiana, from 2008 until his death, passed away at the age of 72 on March 28, after a valiant battle with late-stage stomach cancer. Henry's tenure as mayor was historic, making him Fort Wayne's longest-serving mayor and the first to be elected to five terms. His commitment to public service was evident in his earlier representation of the 3rd District on the Fort Wayne City Council for five terms and his leadership in the local business community as president and CEO of the Gallant Group. Born into a large family as the second of 17 children, Henry's early life laid the foundation for his dedication to community and service. After serving in the United States Army Military Police Corps, he pursued further education, earning degrees in psychology and an MBA which underscored his commitment to lifelong learning and leadership. Throughout his mayoralty, Henry was instrumental in enacting policies that addressed community needs, including revising the city's noise ordinance to combat light pollution. His leadership helped navigate the city through disputes and challenges, always with a focus on what was best for the community. Henry's personal struggles, including a battle with alcohol and a tragic motor vehicle accident, did not deter him from his public duties showcasing his resilience and dedication to Fort Wayne. Henry's personal life was marked by his deep faith and commitment to his family, sharing 47 years of marriage with his wife Cindy, who passed away from cancer in 2024, shortly before his own death. His legacy is not only in the policies he implemented or the elections he won, but in the lasting mark he left on Fort Wayne through his unwavering service and commitment to its residents. Tributes to Tom Henry. Number 7. The vibrant Swiss artist Lacastu passed away on March 28, age 75. A social media announcement revealed her struggle with an incurable illness and her decision to utilize Exit Suisse Romande. A final message expressed gratitude for a wonderful stage, filled with adventures, color, and glitter. Born Catherine Burkhart in 1948, she began her artistic journey at 18. The nickname Lacastu meaning break everything in a friend's dialect, hinted at her future dynamism. As her 2021 autobiography, Bohemian Life suggests, a concise summary is impossible. Lacastu's career began with photography, followed by dance performances, including variety shows alongside French legends like Nougaro and Gainsbourg. A true artist, she embraced singing, dancing, and comedic acting. 
a highlight opening for Jacques Brel in Noca Le Zut. The 1970s saw her lead reviews in cabarets across tours. In her later years, she nurtured a passion for mentoring amateur actors in Denens. La Castu's talent wasn't limited to the stage. Her 1975 gold medal in song enriched the group Les Cramias during the Moutier Cantonal affiliation vote. Though not a permanent resident, her connection to Jura remained strong. The Jura government lauded her contribution. A long, rich career as a dancer, singer, and actress that illuminated Jura's culture worldwide. Federal Councillor Elizabeth Bauma Schneider, a fellow Jurassian, echoed the sentiment. Even with the final curtain call, her life's colors will forever warm our hearts. Tributes to La Castu. Number 6. Isa Kasimi, born Igor Kondilev and formerly known as Igor's Rousis, was a Latvian chess international master whose career experienced both significant achievements and controversies. Awarded the title of Grandmaster by FIDE in 1992, he became known not just for his chess prowess, having won the Latvian Chess Championship in 1995, but also for his contributions to the game as a dedicated coach, supporting teams from Latvia, Bangladesh, Algeria, and Jersey across numerous Olympiads. His career took a dramatic turn in 2019 when he was caught cheating in a tournament, leading to his admission of the act, immediate retirement from chess, and the subsequent revocation of his Grandmaster title and a six-year ban from FIDA-rated tournaments. Despite these events, Kasimi's earlier chess career, including his representation of Bangladesh and the Czech Republic, and his participation in multiple chess Olympiads, highlighted his commitment to and impact on the game. His work as a trainer reflected his passion for nurturing talent and promoting chess across different countries. Kasimi's personal life was intertwined with chess through his marriages, first to Olita Rause, a Latvian woman grandmaster, and then to Ajgul Kasimova, which influenced his name changes over the years. Kasimi's life story is a complex narrative of talent, ambition, fallibility, and redemption. His death on March 28th at the age of 62, closes a chapter in the chess world that will be remembered for both its highs and lows. Tributes to Isa Kasimi. Number 5. Peter Bennett, the cherished English footballer known for his skillful play as an inside forward for West Ham United and Orient, and his time with the North American Soccer League's St. Louis Stars, passed away on the 22nd of March at the age of 77. Bennett's football journey began as an apprentice with West Ham United in 1961. Alongside John Sissons, after being discovered by scout Charlie Faulkner, a pivotal member of the team that clinched the FA Youth Cup in 1963, Bennett's professional debut for West Ham came in 1964, marking the start of a memorable career that saw him score his first goal against Chelsea in 1966. In 1970, Bennett transferred to Orient, quickly becoming club captain and leading the team to near promotion in 1973-74. His stint with the Nassau's St. Louis Stars in 1977 further highlighted his adaptability and passion for the game. Returning to Orient, he played a key role in the team's remarkable journey to the FA Cup semi-final in 1978 before retiring due to an ankle injury after the 1978-79 season. Bennett's post-playing career saw him contribute to Orient's coaching staff, sharing his invaluable experience and knowledge with the next generation. Beyond the pitch, Bennett's legacy lives on through his son, Warren Bennett, who competes on the international golf circuit, a testament to the athletic prowess and determination that runs in the family. The football community mourns the loss of Peter Bennett, a man who not only left a lasting impact on the field but also embodied the spirit of leadership and resilience. His dedication to the game, his teams, and his family will be fondly remembered and deeply missed. Tributes to Peter Bennett.
Number 4. Kaki Mazzetti, an emblematic figure of Italian pop music whose voice charmed an entire generation in the 1960s, passed away on the 20th of March at the age of 87. Born in Milan, Mazzetti's early life was steeped in music. Her studies in piano and singing laid the groundwork for a career that would see her traverse the globe and capture the hearts of many with her group, the Menestrelli del Jazz. Adopting her stage name from her beloved poodle, she soared to fame with the hit Pepido in 1961, marking the beginning of a series of successes that would solidify her place in the Italian music scene. Mazzetti's talent shone brightly at numerous prestigious musical events, including the Sanremo Music Festival where she delivered her major hit Giovanni Giovanni in 1963 and the Festival di Napoli, showcasing her versatility and captivating presence. Despite the waning of her commercial success in the latter part of the 1960s, Mazzetti's influence and legacy endured, leading her to join the nostalgic ensemble Oldies in the early 1980s alongside other celebrated artists. Remaining active in the music industry into the late 20th and early 21st centuries, Mazzetti continued to enchant audiences on television, sharing her rich musical heritage on Paolo Limiti's shows. Her passing marks the end of an era, but her contributions to Italian pop music and the memories she created for her fans will live on. Tributes to Kaki Mazzetti. Number 3. Ambrogio Pelagalli, a distinguished former footballer renowned for his tenure with AC Milan and a brief spell at AS Roma, has passed away at the age of 84. Pelagalli is fondly remembered as one of AC Milan's most cherished players during the 1960s, a period marked by his versatile play and dedication to the sport. Pelagalli's football journey began in the youth ranks of Dagrada Manzoni, closely linked to AC Milan's youth sector. It was here, at the tender age of 14, that he inked his first contract with the Rossoneri, alongside his future lifelong friend, Giovanni Trapattoni. Throughout his illustrious Serie A career, Pelagalli graced the pitch 235 times, finding the back of the net on six occasions, and added another 139 appearances in Serie B to his resume. Notably, his flexibility on the field saw him playing primarily in midfield, often side by side with the legendary Gianni Rivera and when called upon, he did not hesitate to fortify the defense. Pelagalli's time at AS Roma during the 1967-68 season is particularly memorable for a match against his former club Milan. Following the expulsion of a teammate, Pelagalli unexpectedly found himself between the posts as a goalkeeper. Displaying remarkable adaptability and skill, he executed a series of extraordinary saves securing a draw for Roma in a display that remains etched in the memories of football fans. After hanging up his boots, Pelagalli transitioned into coaching, imparting his vast knowledge and passion for the game to the next generation of footballers. The football world mourns the loss of Ambrogio Pelagalli, not only for his versatility and skill on the field but also for his exemplary character off it. His legacy will forever be cherished by AC Milan, AS Roma, and the entire football community. Tributes to Ambrogio Pelagalli. Number 2. Manuel Ruiz de Lopera, the former president of Real Betis passed away in the early hours of Sunday at the age of 79, announced the Andalusian club he led from 1992 to 2010. Real Betis Balompié expresses its deepest sorrow for the passing of Manuel Ruiz de Lopera y Avalos, the club's major shareholder and president during the period 1992 to 2010, stated the Andalusian team in a release. Known for his controversial actions while at the helm of the Verde Blanco team, into whose board of directors he entered in 1991 before becoming the majority shareholder in 1992, he also experienced one of the most notable periods of Betis. Under his leadership, Betis won the Copa del Rey in 1995, was a finalist in 1997, participated in the Champions League for the first time in 2005, and also competed in the Recopa de Europa and played in the UEFA Cup on four occasions, 
Lopera also promoted the remodeling of Betis's stadium, which bore his name from 2000 until 2010, when a vote by the members restored the venue to its current name of Benito Villamarín. The judicial scandals that tarnished his last era at the helm of the Verde Blanco team gradually eroded his popularity until his departure from the position 14 years ago. The passing of the charismatic and media-savvy former Betis president has been met with messages of condolence from all walks of society and sports. Tributes to Manuel Ruiz de Lopera. Today's top headlines. News 1. In a development that's captured widespread attention, music star 50 Cent has initiated a legal action involving Daphne Joy, the mother of his son, following claims made in a lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs. Producer Rodney Lil Rod Jones in an updated lawsuit alleges Joy was hired by Combs for inappropriate activities, an assertion both Joy and Combs strongly dispute. This legal challenge has led 50 Cent to seek full custody of their son, Sire, leading to a lively debate across social media platforms. Joy, through a heartfelt statement on Instagram, dismissed the allegations as completely untrue and criticized the attempts to tarnish her reputation, indicating her plan to take legal steps in response. The situation intensified as Joy accused Jackson of compromising their safety and failing to fulfill his parental responsibilities, with claims of past misconduct. This public airing of their dispute has highlighted the intricacies of celebrity relationships, legal battles, and their effects on family life. As the court proceedings move forward, the entertainment community remains engrossed, observing the saga of counterclaims, defense strategies, and the search for veracity under the spotlight. News 2. Brittany and Abby Hensel, the remarkable conjoined twins who captured the hearts of millions through their TLC reality series have once again found themselves at the center of public curiosity and online commentary. This time, the buzz surrounds Abby's marriage to Josh Bowling, an event the twins had chosen to keep private until recently. In response to the surge of attention and loud online discussions, the Hensels took to TikTok sharing a powerful message that underscores their enduring presence and resilience through history. Their post, a compelling reminder of their unique journey and unity, featured ancient sculptures of conjoined twins, symbolizing the timelessness of their story. Despite the physical challenges and public scrutiny, Brittany and Abby have navigated life with an extraordinary sense of coordination and cooperation, sharing control of their body while maintaining individual personalities and desires. The Hensel's latest public statement not only addresses the noise generated by Abby's marital news, but also reaffirms their determination to live life on their own terms. Through their experiences, Brittany and Abby Hensel continue to inspire and educate, reminding us of the diversity of human experiences and the strength found in unity. News 3. In a development that has fans on edge, wrestling superstar Kenny Omega is facing a pivotal health decision. Known for his high-flying maneuvers and in-ring prowess, Omega has been battling diverticulitis, a condition that inflames the intestine, causing significant discomfort and potential complications. Renowned wrestling journalist Dave Meltzer has revealed that Omega is considering surgery, a move that could see him stepping away from the ring to focus on recovery. With the advice of medical professionals pointing towards surgery as the best course of action, the wrestling community is holding its breath, hoping for a positive outcome. Omega's health saga is not just a testament to the physical toll of professional wrestling, but also to his determination to return to the sport he loves. Fans eagerly await further updates, hoping for a swift and successful recovery for the beloved athlete. News 4. In a heart-wrenching update that has stunned fans and supporters alike, the family of renowned entertainment industry star Emily Willis has revealed the serious challenges she faces in her recovery journey. Nearly two months after an unexplained cardiac arrest left Willis hospitalized and in critical condition, her stepfather, Michael Willis, shared that Emily is now awake but remains in a vegetative state. The family, however, holds on to hope, 
noting small but significant improvements in her condition, such as her ability to track with her eyes and show emotion. Despite these gains, doctors have tempered expectations about further recovery. As Emily battles through the aftermath of this life-altering event, her family has rallied support through a GoFundMe page, seeking assistance with medical and travel expenses. The ordeal has touched many, highlighting the unpredictable nature of health crises and the importance of community support in times of need. Number one, Abdullah Sidran, affectionately known as Avdo, a luminary in Bosnian poetry and screenwriting, passed away on the 23rd of March in Sarajevo at the age of 79, leaving behind a legacy cherished in Bosnia and Herzegovina and beyond. Born amidst the turmoil of World War II, Sidran's life and works reflected the resilience and depth of the human spirit. His profound contributions, notably the poetry book Sarajevsky Tabut and the screenplays for Amir Kusturika's celebrated films Do You Remember Dolly Bell and When Father Was Away on Business, underscore his everlasting mark on the arts. Sidran's early life in Sarajevo, rooted in a working-class Bosniak family, infused his works with authenticity and empathy, painting vivid narratives of Yugoslav life and its complexities. His engagement with intellectuals and global leaders, including a notable meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron, highlighted his standing as a thinker of considerable influence. The loss of Abdullah Sidran is profoundly felt by those who knew him and by fans of his work worldwide. As a member of the Academy of Sciences and Arts of Bosnia and Herzegovina, his legacy is not only in his literary and cinematic contributions but in the enduring spirit of inquiry and expression he championed. Bosnia and Herzegovina has lost a cherished son, whose words and insights will continue to inspire and resonate. Tributes to Abdullah Sidran